Hey there. Nice to see you. Even though I'm not sure if you're there. But it's nice to see you anyway. I'm Danny Gregory, and I was thinking about... I like to do lots of different things. I'm reasonably good at some of them. I'm pretty good at some of them. I'm not that good at some of them. I'm absolutely not good at any at some of them, but I like doing all of them. So, and this is something that a lot of people that said to me, they say, I do lots of different things. Is that a problem? Should I focus? Should I only, you know, get really good at one thing? What's wrong with me that I like doing lots of things? Am I, am I, you know, distracted? Am I out of focus? I would say, no, you're creative. You're curious. You love making stuff and it's all good. And it's okay to want to do lots of different things, to be interested in lots of different things. I think it's kind of what we're supposed to be doing as creative people. We're supposed to be open and in the flow and searching and trying stuff out. But I wrote an essay about this, and it is called How to Be a Diamond. And I'll explain. If it isn't clear, I'll explain what that means after I read it. So here's the essay that I sent out uh, just a few days ago. You're getting it late because you're watching it here on YouTube. Whereas if you had subscribed, which is free, you would have gotten it already. But you could have been thinking about it. Maybe you have been. Um, so what if you aren't? just good at one thing what if you are a great musician and a dancer and a singer and a painter and a baker and a mathematician and a tennis player well oddly that can be a handicap the world insists that you choose one of those options they tell you no one's looking for a tennis playing pastry chef or a jewelry making mountain climber, or a tap dancing hockey goalie. So why isn't anyone looking for multifaceted people? Well, it's too difficult to deal with. It doesn't fit the jobs available. We have square holes, so we need square pegs. We're not looking for diamonds, we need dowels. So what do you do? Well, the most common answer is you pick one door. You focus on a single passion and you drop the rest. You become a good writer for a designer. An actor who occasionally gets to sing. A chef with a great backhand. A stylish banker a pro with regrets at what you had to shed. But what if you didn't just jump at the first narrow niche that was offered? Could you use your creativity to craft your own door? Well, rather than narrowing yourself down, what if you look for ways to bring your talents together and meld your passions? If you like drawing, and screenwriting and music, produce an animated musical. If you like cooking and designing and coding and animal rights activism, make an app for vegans. I like to draw and to write, so I make illustrated books. I like drawing and writing and filmmaking and editing and acting and marketing and teaching and business. So I started my own business that uses all of these skills. It's a job that wasn't listed on ZipRecruiter, believe me. And this advice doesn't just apply to jobs. It can also be applied to your personal projects and your hobbies. Instead of giving up your passions or becoming a diluted jack of all trades who dithers from one interest to another, why not bring your many interests and your talents together to create one multifaceted, sparkling diamond. You're a creative person. Create yourself and shine bright. That's my essay from last week. Um, and it is, 
I don't know. I think it's saying something that a lot of people have asked me about. What do I do? How do I focus? Am I doing it wrong? Well, I hope that's a bit of an answer for you from somebody who is multifaceted. I don't know that I'm exactly a diamond, maybe more of a, I don't know, zirconium. I don't know. I'm, I, not to put myself down, but I am a person with lots of interests, lots of things I do, and it's fun. I like it, you know? And I think I've always been, in my, my many years, I was always um, a writer who drew pretty well. Hey, he draws pretty well for a writer. I guess people never said, hey, he writes pretty well for somebody who can kind of draw. But anyway, um, I think embrace all your, your varied aspects. Be proud of yourself. And just use your creative mind to figure out what's the best solution for you. Because the fact is the world isn't looking for you. Or maybe they are, but they don't know it. So don't expect them to come knocking. But that doesn't mean that you don't have value to give them. That doesn't mean that you can't pull together your skills and do something amazing. Of course you can. But you're just going to have to create your own place in the world. It's a little harder, but it's a lot more rewarding than trying to wedge yourself into something that doesn't quite fit. So I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to uh, get some more ideas from me, sign up. It's free, and I'll send you some more stuff. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.